let's talk a little bit about, more about that, about the experiences of young Brazilian engineers as they graduate. Um, Tell us a little bit about where you were expected to work, what kind of things were you expected to do, and so on. Okay, so that was in 1985 when I graduated. So basically, my f and in Brazil we graduate in December. So my first job started actually in January of 1986, and that time I got several offers from several companies but I decided to work in an institution that was a research institution in my university, was a foundation basically, uh, had a very long name, it was Foundation for Technological Development of Engineering, something like that in Portuguese. Can you, can you give me the name in Portuguese? It's Fundação para o Desenvolvimento Tecnológico da Engenharia. So that foundation was really a foundation of money from donations and money from the university. And they had some overhead agreements with the university. But it was basically a big company inside the school. We had approximately 100 engineers working in that place inside the school, distributed all over the campus. So when I got my first job, I start to to design uh, circuits, electronic circuits for uh, subway extension of Sao Paulo. So it was a quite, uh, a quite big project. We had maybe 20 engineers working in that project. We are designing electronic circuits, power supplies, communications, several things, you know, everything done there. And the idea was to design and then deploy that project in uh, spin-off companies. Sometimes the spin-off companies were made by engineers who start working that particular project. Sometimes the companies were established and we just gave them all the design uh, reports and the subway company from the state of Sao Paulo arranged with those companies those uh, uh, the development of those uh, circuits or whatever was needed for that subway station. So uh, there was a kind of uh, natural path for us, for engineers, young engineers, to start in a big project and then start our own companies. We had several companies that start in that particular foundation. We have companies developing uh, monitors for computers. Uh, for example, we had a huge market for uh, computers because, as I told you before, there was a, a protection for computers made in Brazil. We could not import uh, computers from anywhere in the world. We had to make Brazilian computers. So we had a market for mouses and monitors and keyboards and switching mode power supplies and everything that was related to the uh, personal computers market that we are just starting in 1985. So, I decided by the end of 1986, to 1986, December 1986, to start my own company. So in that company, I had myself, uh, my friend who just graduated with me, Renato, that was his name, and two <clears throat> um, a little more senior engineers from that foundation. One was, uh, his name was Edson, and another was uh, Marcelo, the same name as myself. So we had four people in this company. My company was called Antares. Antares is a constellation. So we run Antares for maybe two and a half years with four people. And we are developing switch mode power supplies. <clears throat> Those switch mode power supplies, they were designed for subways, uh, projects. We had an automation project of uh, water distribution, so we had some power supplies for that project. We had some power supplies for uh, a thin film uh, process. So we had power supplies for several things. But the problem with our company is that each project was a new project for us. We didn't have a pro we didn't have a product that we could sell every month, you know a few of them making revenues for the company. So it was hard for us because it was a little bit consulting for, a, for another company 
designing a system and then selling maybe 50 or 100, not more than that. And then let's fight and let's look for another project. So it was really hard for us to, to keep up with the, the company. And at the same time, I was working at that foundation, so I had my job. And at the end of the day, 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, I, I, I started work in my own company. And I started to, to work in my master's degree, so it was too much for, for me in my place. I had my master's program, I had my own job that actually gave me money to, to run my, my life, and I had my company. So eventually in 1988, I decided to quit that company, and they continued with three partners, and I basically decided to take another path.